All right, so uh, what we're going to do is just roll through the um, quiz here. Hopefully you're watching this if you got stuck. So remember when we're naming and formula writing a hydrocarbons, you need two things. The prefix, that tells you how many carbons are in it. So an example of this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So my prefix would be six. And then your ending is based off of what type of bonds are in it. And this one has a double bond, so the ending would be E-N-E. -E. Okay. Now, uh, the only hex six E-N-E -E one is this one right here. So this would be one hexene. It's a one because that's the lowest number that the double bond touches. Okay. As an example, this one has three carbons, which is prop. Okay. There's a double bond, so it's propene. This is the only propene as well. Uh, so it's one propene. But again, the lowest number, you could have one, two propene or one propene if you numbered one, two, three. So up to you. This one, uh, you have five carbons. So that's pent. It's a double bond. So again, it's E-N-E. -E. So it's one pentene. Again, the number could be one, two, three, four pentene or one, two, three, four, five, one pentene. Lowest number is the one you choose. So it's letter C. And this one right here, we got four carbons. So prefix for four is bute. So butene, E-N-E, -E, is this one, is letter B. Um, all the answers will be used, I'll fix that. Uh, but two butene would be letter B. It's letter, it's number two, because one, two, three, four, it's on a two that way, and one, two on a two that way as well. Similarly, this one's the same compound, except it's a triple bond in the middle instead of a double bond which means it's a 2-bute again, but triple bond is Y-N-E, so it's 2-butyne. And lastly here, I have five carbons, so it's pent. A triple bond means Y-N-E, so it's one pentine. Okay. Here we just have the same idea, but it's all single bonded ones, so one carbon is meth. All single bonds is A-N-E, so it's methane, that's letter H. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. All single bonds, so it's hexane, letter B. Here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten carbons. So that is decane. Dec is ten. So be letter A here. And then four carbons is bute. All single bonds is butane. J. Hey, similarly here. Uh, a triple bond tells me that this one is an alkyne. All single bonds tells me this one is an alkane. And a double bond tells me that one's an alkene. Okay, and then just that's that same word, triple bond, alkyne, single bond, alkane, double bond, alkene. And then we look at the formulas. These are the formulas that help you predict how many carbons are in an example. One, two, three, four carbons. It'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hydrogens, so four carbons, 10 hydrogens is an alkane formula. That would be this one right here for alkanes because it'd be C4H, two times four is eight, plus two is 10. That's what I got here. Here it's C2H4, which is this one right here, C2H, two times two is four, so that would be an alkene. And then the alkyne, I got one, two, three, four carbons. So that'd be C4H, two times four is eight, Minus two would give me H6 would be the formula for that one. Uh, so that would be an alkyne. True or false, organic chemistry is a certain amount of anything that's false. It's all the living stuff, the chemistry. So review your answers, submit them, and that should be it. Uh, hopefully that helps if you got stuck. Let me know if you have any questions.